This is Dan with Birdie's Jewelry here, and this time we have two very special watches from IWC. As an IWC authorized dealer, we've gotten our hands on two very special pieces. One, the Big Pilot Heritage Bronze IW501005, and the Aquatimer Automatic Edition CF4. Alternative materials and patina are two of the hottest trends in watchmaking right now, and these two watches have them in spades. Not only that, but they also have retro design on their side. With cream colored indices and Arabic numerals, these watches have a ton of character for comparatively not a lot of money. Plus, focusing on the Aquatimer CF4, it's got a spectacular new in-house movement. The IWC reference 3410-01 is powered by the in-house caliber 82110 and this watch actually got the first 250 of these movements when it first came out. Hence the display back that it has. Despite the exposed back, its dive credentials are all here. It's able to withstand 30 bar of pressure has luminous paint on the indices and hands, and it's, had, it's got everything that you'd expect from a standard Aquatimer. But this Aquatimer, with its bronze case, gives you something that any stainless steel counterpart wouldn't. Patina. Plus, with only 250 of these in existence, it's an extremely rare piece. This is not to be confused with a Jacques Cousteau that had a chronograph movement. As you can see, there's not a chronograph subdial to be found here. Instead, it's got the brown bronze case that the Jacques Cousteau had and a good old fashioned three handed caliber 82110 automatic movement. Meanwhile, the big pilot is powered by the caliber 52110 and its seven day power reserve. It too is a limited edition watch, but this time rather than being limited to just 250 pieces, there are 1500 pieces to be found out there. But like I said, bronze ages. As you can see from the big pilot here, <clears throat> that's actually already begun to noticeably age. That's not just smudging on the side that you see, that's the bronze aging. Over time, these watches will, no <coughs> will actually brown and actually eventually start turning green and changing color, something similar to the Statue of Liberty with its copper construction. This is an aspect that, that some uh, watch collectors will actually go wild over. If you're the kind of collector that wants minty watches from now into the future, hates nicks and scratches and that kind of stuff, perhaps uh, bronze isn't the material for you. But if you like uh, but if you like um, aged watches, vintage watches, that kind of stuff, bronze is an excellent alternative for you to stainless steel. Just because as these things age, they're going to change color. They're really going to uh, add a, another layer of, uh, of ownership with these particular watches. They, and they'll actually do it and an accelerator rate. So, no two watches are going to be the exact same. So, if you see another person with a bronze IWC Big Pilot just like this, within a restaurant or something like that, they're going to have a probably a different finish on, on their watch than you are. It really adds another layer of ownership in addition to just having the same watch. It's really a cool experience. So if you love this added layer of individuality, you're really gonna go wild over these two IWCs. Plus the rarity, especially with the CF4 Aquatimer, this really makes this an interesting watch, despite the fact that it doesn't have a chronograph like the, uh, like the Jacques Cousteau did. So with that, this is Dan with Birdings signing off.